Montana TV. Ten years of TV, how it was meant to be. Mr. Noel, you and Mr. Baxter keep telling me that you have a baby here. But as yet, I haven't seen him. Now, I want you to produce him. Uh, believe me, Mrs. Hampton, it's safer to let Carla keep the baby in the den. Safer? Or do you think I'd harm my own great-grandchild? Well, I wasn't thinking of the baby's safety. I was thinking of my own. Every time I stick my head in that door, she throws something at me. India ink isn't the easiest thing to get out of one's ear. Oh. And Mr. Baxter, where did he go? Well, he's having a conference in the kitchen with his wife. George, for two cents, I'd pick up that broom and hit you over the head with it. Darling, I... How could you even dream of taking a baby away from its mother? Dear, Mrs. Hampton is Harry's client. Now, I thought he knew what he was talking about. Harry Noel? What does he know about babies? Well, you just touched a very sensitive subject. I wonder sometimes what he knows about anything. George, if you make one legal move to take that baby away from its mother, don't you dare come home tonight. I couldn't possibly make a legal move if I wanted to. I thought she had proof that the woman was an unfit mother, but what it boils down to is that she's handicapped in raising a child in this country because she doesn't speak English. And Hazel. Poor Hazel. What? That girl thinks Hazel betrayed her. Charlie, you better go in there and tell Carla that Hazel didn't mean to do anything like that. No, no, I don't think she cared to listen to me. Charlie, Carlotti, you heard me. Now you get up out of there and you march in front of me and you go in there and translate every word I say to her. George. We've been discussing the best way for Mrs. Hampton to gain custody of the child. She is not going to gain custody. What? You have no legal grounds. But, George, you don't understand. We're going to lose her as a client. That girl is not fit to raise a child in this country. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She can't even speak English. Have you ever tried learning a little Italian? Hazel, please. I'm an American. Why should I learn Italian? Well, anybody as rich as you must do a lot of traveling in Europe. What do you do when you meet someone that don't understand you? I do what I've always done. I get mad. Until her husband returns, that girl will manage all right alone. Especially if she has someone to help her take care of the child. And with my contacts, don't think I won't find someone. You mean I have no legal grounds? None whatever. I love that baby. Enough to learn a little Italian so his mother can learn a little English? No, no, you keep quiet, Charlie. Now, Carla's got to learn English. Mrs. Hampton is going to learn Italian, and Carla's got to learn English so they can meet each other halfway. See, si, um, yes, you are right. You understand me? See, si, um, yes. Well, that's well. That's the trouble, you know. Everybody's always waiting for somebody to speak their language. The thing is, they ought to grow up and learn to speak the other fellow's language. That makes sense, don't it? Makes a lot of sense. Well, now... Here we go. I don't think Mrs. Hampton's going to give us any more trouble. Well, that ain't the heartiest greeting I ever saw. But it'll do for a beginning. I'm depending on you to get them two together. <laughs>